forgiveness, forgiveness. What does it mean to forgive? Forgiveness is all about yourself. It's about seeing where your weaknesses are and allowing yourself to put time and attention and healing into those places so that they're no longer weaknesses. And forgiveness is about loving yourself enough to instead of project your pain and your anger and your hurt onto someone else, you use it to empower yourself into becoming a better person. The things that people do to you only hurt you when they hit a nerve. One thing that was a good lesson for me to learn was that not everyone has the same heart as me. Not everyone has the same level of love in their life. And that helps me to release any sort of blame that I would want to put on them for being hurtful toward me. And that has empowered me a lot. It's, it's really a blessing when you have the opportunity to forgive. When you're able to see forgiveness in a mature, emotionally sound state, you see it as opportunity for your growth, for your compassion, for your ability to let go and move forward and embrace the positive instead of hanging on to the negative. In a way, you really can shift your perspective into appreciation for anyone who has brought pain into your life or you know hurt or whatever the case may be, whatever you need to forgive. These people are facilitators in your personal healing and your personal growth. That makes it very easy for me to say, okay, this is good. This is, this is not something that's bad. This is an opportunity for me to heal the parts of myself that are pretty weak and they need, they need some attention. The ability to forgive is an incredible strength because not many people can get over their ego of, you did this to me. That's how, we, that's how we feel. You did this to me. How dare you? Instead of, okay, <laughs> you did this, and this is the way I reacted. How can I change myself in order to not have those, type of, those types of reactions toward anyone who ever does anything like this again? How can I be better so that this type of situation doesn't trigger me so deeply? How can I be better? When you're able to get into a space where you easily forgive and you don't harbor those negative feelings and where you can just say, you know, it's just something that happened and now I get to move on to a new experience. That takes a strength and a wisdom that is so steady and so true and so loving that no one can hurt you. No one can hurt you because you don't hold on to the hurt. Hurt comes from the ego. It comes from absorbing the negativity that someone puts out toward you and hanging on to it and making it your own instead of kind of deflecting it and letting it pass and not have any sort of effect on you. When you're hurt, when you are wounded and there's something that just weighs you down and hurts your heart so bad, when you are able, that moment where you can just let it go and forgive, it creates such a healing effect on you. What you're doing is you're, you're showing yourself that that pain that you feel was so bad and so unbearable is something that you can conquer, is something that you don't have to live with, is something that you don't have to hold on to. And once you learn that lesson, you, and you continue to apply it in every situation where you feel those, those things, where people do things toward you, you are then more readily able to release. And that's what it's about. It's about training yourself to see your ability to let go of all of the things that don't serve you. That's what emotional intelligence is about. It's about 
knowing yourself and seeing your power in being able to control how you perceive the world around you through the way you feel about it. We have this tendency to react to everything and oh I'm offended oh I'm hurt oh I you know this and this and this we're so quick to have those types of reactions but what's really important is to understand that we 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 don't have any power in reaction our power lies in our ability to control how we feel about everything that's going on we have so much love in our hearts and we will never ever be able to fully live in that when we can't release our pride and release our ego. Just let that stuff go because at the end of the day, it's not about who's right and what's fair. It's about, are you at peace? Are you happy? Are you, are you in a place where you control how your life goes instead of letting other people control how you feel about everything. All it takes is giving yourself the permission to say, okay, all right, I let it go. Just sink into it. Just allow it to, to leave your body. You will feel relief. You, it, you will physically feel it. The burden just lift off of you, lift out of your heart. You will feel it because when we, we, we hold on to things like that, it, it does manifest physically in tension, in, in you know, stress, in worry, in anxiety. Those things have a physical effect on us and they make us sick. So it's not only a healing for your heart and for your spiritual and your emotional well-being, you're healing yourself physically too. People who hurt you don't have the emotional intelligence to be kinder or more thoughtful or whatever the case may be. There are some people who just honestly aren't thinking about other people and they're just moving along and it, it could be totally accidental, you know, the, the way that they make you feel. Some people are very blunt and they just say what's on their mind. It could hurt people's feelings, but it's, you know, if, if they're speaking their truth, we have to learn, okay, I can't be so sensitive. It's not personal, it's not an attack on me, and that's a way for you to heal. There are some people who do have very wounded hearts, and when they see someone who's happy, or you know, you doing your thing, and they, it just upsets them, because they, they're hurting, you know? It makes them feel like they have a little bit of power, a little bit of control in their lives to make you upset. So you holding on to that or you, you know, reacting is just giving them what they want. So you just let it go. They have to learn how to make themselves happy. And then they, you know, other people being happy won't hurt them so much. There are some people who are just so closed off from the love in their hearts that they can't give anything with love. Everything that they give is with pain and with hurt and with hate and with with negative vibrations so one thing that's really important to recognize is that anyone who does something toward you that hurts you or makes you feel bad it's very natural for me to just like level with them and say you know what's wrong how can we fix this I understand you're upset those types of things so I mean that's something that's really allowed me to get in that um, perspective of okay <laughs> let's let's talk it out let's see what we can do but whatever I you know everyone's life is different and everyone has different uh, experiences I understand that some people's experiences are really difficult and it makes it very hard for them to feel like they're able to get to a place of forgiveness because it's just like so hurt so hurt so hurt but if you're in that kind of a state where it's just like I've been through so much and it's so hard. When you're able to forgive at that kind of level, you will experience so much growth, so much growth. It's like jumping into problem solving mode instantly. You know, when something's not right, when someone does something to you, when, when you are hurt and you're in pain, 
immediately jump to the place in your heart where you say, okay, how can I forget this? How can I let this go? This is not serving me. We, we've got to clear this energy. Even if that person is not ever going to um, apologize, you, you don't wait for apologies, you don't, you don't try to get even, you don't hope something bad happens to them in return for what they've done to you, you just let it go. You just say, wow, okay, that's how you want to act. You're free to act however you want and I'm not going to let that affect how I live my life and how I love in my life and how I love myself. I love myself too much to let you come into my space and mess everything up that I've got, you know, mess everything up that I've got going on for me. I'm, I'm, building, a, I'm building a good life. I'm building a happy life and that doesn't fit. So <laughs> move on, right? You have to, you have to adopt the attitude of, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you have to, because if you're going to take everything so personally, Everything is going, everything is going to ruin it for you. Everybody's going to say something or do something. You just got to be like, hey, I see you're having a hard time over there and you're struggling within yourself. Go deal with that. And I, I'm not going to let that affect me. I'm not going to let how you want to live your life creep in to the good stuff that I've got going on for me. You, you can do that. You don't have to sit around and and hope that people um, come to their senses and hope that people um, act better. You, you can't wait around for other people to change in order for you to be happy because if you're always waiting for other people to change or to be better so that you can be better, what kind of, what kind of control is that? Why are you, there, there's no control in that and you have way too much power in your life to be pulled around and to be dictated by people who don't love themselves. A true sign that you have forgiven someone is to be able to look someone in the eye who's hurt you and to not feel any kind of like hatred toward them and not feel any kind of negative energy toward them. To see them with love and kind of like a, it's okay, you know? That, that type of um, energy to not feel like you need anything bad to happen to them in order for you to feel better, to to neutralize any kind of aggression or any kind of ill wishes toward them, that's when you've really forgiven someone. Hanging on to things that people do to you is like, okay, they do it, they do something to you once, right? And then every time you think about that thing, you kind of do it to yourself again. And then you think about it over and over and over and over and it gets like, ugh, every time you think about it, it makes you more angry. But you're doing more damage to yourself than they did to you because you know, the thing that they've done is gone. It's in the past, but you continue to refresh it and make it new again and just like pour salt in that wound. It's like, why are you doing that to yourself? Forgiveness is about you. Forgiveness is about healing yourself in all of the places that you need to heal. So humble yourself. Realize that you're not above these types of situations bad things happen to everyone at some point in their lives in some in some way everyone has a heart and has feelings and feels pain and feels hurt you know everyone goes through something whether or not you feel it's as bad as yours or whatever like don't dismiss people's ability to feel pain and feel hurt and to suffer you know everyone everyone has a, a heart <laughs> everyone it is a lesson that we have to learn in order to transcend into our highest vibration. When you're unable to forgive, you are not growing. And when you're not growing, life can't be better. And when life can't be better, you're not gonna be happy. Don't be counterproductive to your, to your personal well-being, to your personal growth, and to your, to, your, to your blossoming and becoming of 
the most wonderful being that you can be. When you respond negatively to the things that people do, you are actively contributing to the negativity that they're trying to create. When you see it happen and you, you just kind of let it go, it's like it just falls flat. You know, people don't really know what to do when their anger, aggression, or like whatever is met with nothing because they're counting on, you know, once they do it, they're ready to respond to what you're gonna do next. When you don't give that to people, it kind of, it really throws them off. Just forgive, forgive everything. Forgive everyone, forgive everything, forgive yourself. Just forgive, don't hold on to anything. Forgive, forgive, forgive. Keep building your best life, keep moving forward. When you're unable to forgive, you're, you're hooking yourself to things in the past which you're trying to pull along with you and it's gonna make your journey harder and it's gonna make it heavier and it's gonna make it unpleasant. Forgive if you can do anything. Once you can find the space in your heart to let go of feeling those emotions, you are training yourself to do that in all kinds of different ways. Letting go is the key to it all. Let it go, let it go. Don't, don't hold on to things, don't absorb things. It's like you move through life like a sponge and the more you suck up the heavier you get and you just can't you know you just and those things kind of come out of you because that's what you're hanging on to don't do that allow yourself to move through life fresh every day fresh just uh, release it and okay yeah yesterday wasn't a great day but that doesn't mean today can't be a great day yeah, that person was whatever, but that doesn't mean that everyone's going to be like that. So just, you have to stay positive and you have to choose that you're not going to let outside things affect the quality of what's inside of you. And when you do that, you'll, you'll realize that there's more good things that happen on the outside of you. You know, when you're able to forgive quickly, you'll realize that you don't have to forgive as much because what you're doing is you're sending out those signals that like, hey, everything is good. Everything's good and, you know, I feel good. So therefore, everything that you encounter is going to feel better and better and better. You're a creator. I say this a lot. You are a creator, so create what you want. If you don't like people hurting you, don't focus on the people who hurt you. If you don't like feeling bad <laughs> don't hang on to those feelings that make you feel bad i understand that there's so many different levels of things that people go through it doesn't matter what kind of hurt that you go through it's all hurt it's all pain it's all the same emotion and whatever those triggers are they're they're specific to every individual some people are super sensitive to this one thing while somebody else that doesn't bother them at all but this thing really bothers them so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's across the board. It's the entire spectrum of you have to let it go. You, you just really have to make that decision for yourself. It's important. It's, it's one of the most important things that you can do in your life is, is to forgive readily, to forgive often, <laughs> as often as you need. If there's something bothering you that someone... It, whether it's someone else or whether it's you, you know, you, sometimes you have to forgive yourself for things, but do it often. If you see people as like, we're all here on this emotional journey and the level of emotional competency that we have directly relates to how we treat one another and how we treat the world around us and how we conduct ourselves. So people who aren't nice, people who aren't kind, people who are harmful or do destructive things, they're not very advanced in their ability to understand their capacity for love. When you encounter those types of situations and those types of people, it's much easier to forgive because you know that it's from a lack of education, it's from a lack of understanding themselves. They don't know who they are. Hi. <laughs> Hello. I got a friend. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> so it's really important to have that kind of compassion and that kind of empathy for everyone. Um, not everyone is out to get you. Some people just don't know better. They don't have love in their hearts and they don't 
have that type of love in their life to show them how to be better. So, you know, you being kind in, in response to their negativity could be the thing that affects them so deeply that it changes their life. It could, it really could. So you never know what people are going through, what people have gone through, why people do the things that they do. But just know that because you know better, you do better. And everything else will fall into place, for sure. Forgiveness is love. It's that unconditional love. It's that even though that's how you've treated me, I still find pleasantness in my heart for you. I still accept you as someone who's deserving of, of kindness. That is, that is so, such, such powerful love. We need more, more love like that. It would be incredible if everyone could just find that kind of love. Reach deep down and discover, discover that kind of love that lies within yourself.